Sharing is caring, so let's make it super easy on your website to share your content. Before we start, we need to download the Monarch plugin from Elegant Themes. If you already have it, you can skip this step. If you don't, just go to the Elegant Themes website and log into your account. If you don't have a subscription yet to Elegant Themes, I would really advise you to do so because the Divi theme is just perfect. If you follow the link in the description of this video, I can get you a 20% discount. So enjoy. If you just log in and then you scroll down in your account, you can download Diffy, you can download the extra theme, you can download the Bloom theme, which I created an awesome tutorial about it. And of course, here we can get the Monarch plugin. So press download Monarch, and then you can log into your WordPress dashboard. And if you follow my tutorial about WordPress security, then you notice that you have to fill in again your authentication code on your mobile phone. And on your dashboard, you go to plugins, add new, and we go to upload plugin. We're gonna select Monarch right there, and then you click on install now, and then you click on activate plugin. Congratulations, you have just installed Monarch, and now the fun will begin. All right, if you want to go to the settings of Monarch, you can go to tools, Monarch settings. It's right there, click on it. And here you can see the beautiful dashboard of Monarch. We have two types of sharing options. You can use social sharing, like the little sidebar I'm gonna show you. And we have social follow buttons, which shows you the exact amount of followers you have, or you can just fill in a random number if you like. But let's start with the social sharing options. If you look at that little green check mark below it, it means that all these locations are activated on this very moment. So we have the sidebar, the inline, the pop-up, the fly-in module, and also on our media, we have the social sharing icons. So you can just go to networks. Here we're gonna configure the networks we want to use. If you click on this button at networks, here you can select all the next networks you want to use. You can't see WhatsApp and Telegram in this list, but no worries, we'll be adding that at the final section of this video. So select all the networks you want to have on your website. It really depends on the audience. So if you are have a blog with a lot of news, then you might want to use Gmail also. So people can use Gmail to send out the links of your website to another to other people, but just press apply right there. And you can also change the order of your networks by just dragging them around like this and then you can just chase whatever you want. So I want to put the email all the way down. I want to put Facebook on top, then LinkedIn, Twitter, Reddit, Yahoo Mail and Gmail. And after that comes WhatsApp and Telegram. We'll be adding that later on. And after that you can change the labels of your buttons. So uh, whatever you can say right here, uh, follow me on Facebook or you can just use the names of your networks right there. So let's keep just the network names. That will be great. And on Twitter, you only need to add your username like WPress Doctor. That is very logical. And we press save changes. All right, now we go to our sidebar settings. And here you can choose the icon styles of the sidebar. Do you want this icon when you hover over it? It really looks beautiful with this little 3D effect. And the shadow is growing right there. It's moving. And with this one, it's just only the shadow. I really like this first style. It's great. Then you can use the shape. Do you want to have it rounded or an entire circle? It's completely up to you. All works great. And let's go to the display settings. Here you can really change the orientation of your sidebar. Do you want it on the left side of the website or on the right side? It really depends what's on your website on the left or right side. Let's keep it on the left side. The intro animation, I want it to be slide right. Beautiful. I don't want to display my share counts because if your website doesn't have a lot of traffic, it doesn't seem that good that this page has never been shared before or zero times or just one time. I really don't like it. You can use it, however, if you have a big blog, which have a million visitors a year, uh, for example, uh, then it counts as social proof. However, some people also find, found, found it to be a little bit boasting. If you do use it, however, you can actually use a minimum count display. So after 50 shares, now you will see that it's been shared. I'm going to turn it off because 
I don't really like these kind of things. Display total shares, I really don't care. And here you have display all networks button. If you enable this, you will get a extra button with all the networks available. And you can hide it on your mobile devices. I don't think you should hide it because Monarch does an excellent job in keeping it responsive. It's really great. If you now go down, you can actually change the background and hover colors of your icons. And when you change it, it actually looks the same as your website itself. I'm going to show you how it looks like right now. Just press save changes and open up your website in a new private window. And when I load up my website, this is what you see. This is the beautiful website I created with my latest YouTube tutorial, how to create a professional website. And I'm going to show you how you can create these awesome effects within Divi. Now we have our beautiful sharing buttons right there on the left side and you can even close it. So this is the sidebar function. It really works great. All right, let's get back to the Monarch settings and configure some more. All right, so now when I enable display all networks button and I press save changes and now you see I actually have another button down there and it says and when I click on it, you can see all the networks available within Monarch. That is really great. And also on mobile, you get a really nice responsive bar down there and you can click, click on share this and you get the networks we created. It's beautiful. So let me show you how it looks when you use your custom colors on your branded website. Enable custom colors, select the background color, for example, this golden color I use on the website and I press save changes oh, and also on hover i also want to have the same color but a little bit more darker like this press save changes so now all the icons have a the background color that i use on my website however i don't like it because i now it doesn't stand out anymore and the power of the logo has been taken away because the colors are very important for people to trigger it to actually click on this button to share it within Facebook. So I'm going to remove my custom colors and I'm gonna save it and now they are back again to the normal colors. All right, if we now scroll up, let's go to the inline options. The first thing you'll be able to change is the icon style. Do you want it to look like this or this or this? I really like this one or this one. Just choose whatever you want. You can make them, of course, again, rectangle or rounded corners or entirely rounded. It's up to you. Let's keep it this way. Our display settings. Where do you want to have it? I want to have it below my content because after you've read something, then you want to share it. Not before you sh you read something, I think, but let's keep it below content. Uh, align them in the center. Now the number of columns is very important. If you only have four share options, then this is perfect. If you have three or five, then auto width would be useful for you. But if you want to have more columns, you can also put it on, for example, six. So let's keep it on auto width. I don't want to show my share counts because I don't like that. Total shares, mm -hmm. display my network names. You can turn it on and off. Again, the all network buttons and you can move, remove some icon spacing and hide on mobile devices. This inline location is only activated on posts. So let's go to one of my, po my posts. And as you can see, my posts are really short and there's a uh, links bar that's not fully completed. But, but what I wanted to show you is this on the lower side. It really works. But I don't look like the auto width because now Facebook is bigger than Twitter and it is Reddit is the smallest, Yahoo Mail is the biggest. I don't want that. So let's create a six or three columns layout. Let's go up a bit and let's change them to three columns. Save our changes. And if I now refresh this page, this is how it looks. It looks way better. It's a little bit big, but you can of course imagine when you have an entire post, which is really awesome to read, you can click this button to make sharing super easy. All right, let's get back to the Monarch settings. So if you scroll up, we have a couple of options more. We have the pop-up. The pop-up, you can change again the icon styles and the icon shapes, but now you have also a title and a message. You can change it to, for example, spread the word and help us to reach the world. And the message will be, we will be forever grateful. 
And if you now scroll down, you will see a lot of more display settings. Of course, the icon alignments, the number of columns again, the animation, but now we have a trigger after time delay. It means after 20 seconds, the pop-up will show and people can use it. You can also trigger it after inactivity or at the bottom of the post or after commenting or after scrolling. I would say 80% of your scrolling after purchasing. And of course, you want to display once per session and a session will take one day because it's very frustrating if you get pop-ups and you click them away, you don't want them. And every time they come back and back and back, that's really frustrating. So let's just enable display once per session, once per day. All right, if you now scroll down, you have, of course, you display share counts. I don't like that, but you can enable it for posts. That's, of course, with any popping. That's so good. Whatever you want, display all networks, remove it again and hide the mobile settings. And the rest is very easy. Now I want this pop-up to also show on pages. So let's save our changes. And if I now scroll to my page on my website, when I hit 80% or when I hit 20 seconds, this thing will appear. Here we go. There it is. Spread the word and help us to reach the world. We will be forever grateful. As you can see it now, there is a gradient over my website, which will really focus the attention to this box. Monarch has really done a great job with this pop-up module. The next one is the flying option. And the flying is actually different from a pop-up and I will show you what happens. You also have a title and a message, but this time you can choose your location in the bottom left or bottom right. Hmm. In the animation you have of course the time delay, after inactivity, after commenting, after 80% scrolling. It's exactly the same as the other one, once per session. And I don't want to share accounts. Well, this flying location is actually pretty different from the pop-in. If I want to demonstrate this, I have to turn the other one off because they don't work together. That's very interesting. So you have to go to your pop-up and let's say I don't want to use the pop-up on my pages, but I do want to use the flying on my pages. Now you can see that it works. So don't forget that if you want to add one of them, you can use them at the same time at the same locations. Why is that? Well, let me show you. So when I now scroll down to 80% or I wait 20 seconds, here comes the flying. So the difference is with this flying, as you can see, there is no gradient above my website. So my attention doesn't get all drawn to this share this box right there. So that is the big difference. Now, when you close it, don't forget to open a new private window because my session now has been closed. For one day, I don't see these pop up. And the last one is on media. If you have media files on your website, then you can actually share the media within the image. There you can see all the sharing icons. I don't use it on this specific website, but you can use it if you want to show the world your portfolio, for example. All right, that's basically it for all the network locations. It is pretty easy. And then we have, of course, the social follow, which is a little bit different because here you can add your networks and now people can actually follow you. So if you click on add networks, now you can see that there are a lot more options to choose from. We have, of course, Facebook, Twitter, we have, of course, LinkedIn. But if you now scroll down, you will also see that you have Flickr, for example, and you have Instagram and YouTube, which are very nice ones. Just add apply. You can change the titles of the networks, of course. And here you have to add your username. So if I'm, for example, on YouTube, I would go HTTPS YouTube.com slash C slash WPress doctor. That is the channel name and I can give it a name and let's fill out that I already have 500,000 subscribers. Well, I don't, but it just looks great. And then I press save changes and you can do this with all these things. And let's put in some numbers just to see how it looks. Press save changes. And then we open links in the window. Now you also can get the real counts enabled. So you have to enable this one, get counts via API, but then you have to configure all the API keys of your networks. And then you can actually use the actual following count of your social media platforms like LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube. 
I'm not going to show you how to get the API key of LinkedIn or Twitter or YouTube. There are a lot of tutorials about it on the internet. So just look for that if you want the real accounts. All right, then we go to widget and here you can configure your social follow widget, which I can style, I can shape is exactly the same as we have seen within the other settings. If you go to short code, you can actually change, of course, everything. And then you can go down here and click generate short code. This is the short code. You can copy and paste it anywhere on your website where you want to show this social follow box. It is a really great. Let's add it right in into a widget. Let's go to widgets. So let's say I want to follow, I want the follow box in my sidebar. You can just add this plus button and type in Monarch or you can just scroll down, click on it. And here it goes. It has just been added right there. And if you click on the right side, now you can see how it actually looks on your website. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. Here you can see all the followers amounts we have just entered into the Monarch setting. It is really great and it works to get you more followers. Now there is one thing we didn't address well, that is the general settings. You can configure some other stuff like the API settings of Facebook, uh, Instagram API, and you can of course enter your own custom CSS. Now, this is only useful if you're using the APIs. But for now, we are very good and very happy with our social sharing plugin Monarch. So guys, what I really miss in Monarch is adding the options to share your website or your content using WhatsApp or Telegram. And what did I do? I hired a friend of mine to build it in Monarch. It cost me almost the same as an entire Divi license for a lifetime. But hey, this guy is very good. So I'm going to show you how you can add it really simple to your website. So what do we do? We go to wpressdoctor.com slash monarch and hit enter. And then you come to this beautiful page where it has been not designed, but it shows you actually how it's going to look down here. You can see the two icons that we're going to add in. And the only thing I want from you is your email address. So I can sometimes send you an email mostly once a month with a really awesome new video if I created one. If I don't, I won't mail you at all. So don't worry, you can always unsubscribe. It's entirely free. So please subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. It's well worth it because it works like a charm. And I'm going to show you. So fill in your details the wpressdoctor.com and you press show me and decode. Thank you very much. Please follow this link. And when you click on it, now you can see the code. So press Ctrl A on your keyboard, press Ctrl copy, or just press the right mouse and press press copy. And then you go back to your dashboard of your website. And then we go to Diffy down there and we go to theme options and just go to integration. And here you just paste in the code that we have just created. And don't forget to enable your header code if it's disabled and scroll down and press in save changes. That's it guys. It is that easy. And if you now reload your page and now you can see that there are two buttons extra added on your website and they even move exactly the same as you have styled it. And when you press it, this is what happens. It asks you to open the desktop app of WhatsApp. You can of course open it or when you hit Telegram, it also asks you to open the desktop app of Telegram. If you don't have it, then you can press uh, share and then you can go to the web version of the telegram. It really works great. So guys, if I helped you out with this video and with the extra share options, please like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for more awesome WordPress content. I wish you a very awesome day and you did a great job by installing Monarch and adding these extra buttons of WhatsApp and Telegram. Have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next video.